hello, we're back at Checkers. So, we went to Checkers again, and um, I got another brookie. I got another chocolate chip brookie because it was just really good. I, I'm not even like, you know, reviewing it because I'm like, I just reviewed it on the channel. So, I just wanted to eat it, honestly. Um, and we got, so, they're all out of slushies, apparently. Like, every type. So, couldn't get any slushies. I did get a, um, large banana shake, which I've been drinking out of, but... Let's see... I can show you kind of some of it before it, any of it spills out. Um... So I got that. All right, for the main meal, um, I got a combo. I got the eight piece fry seasoned chicken tenders. So I wonder what that's gonna be like um, if they had the, the fry seasoning. Um, I, I mean, they do, but I wonder how that's gonna be, um, how that's gonna taste. So again, this time, I think it was the same as last time. Um, it was like a few minutes wait for uh, the brownie, but it was pretty fast. Um, let's see. It's, uh, about 10.30 right now in the, at night. Again, you can see it's very dark. Um, if we look closely, that in the background right there is the checkers, um, thing. I don't know if it's focusing, but hopefully it did there. So, as you can see, I'm at checkers. Um, so, eight piece fry seasoned chicken tenders. I got a ranch dip cup and a buffalo dip cup. So we'll try those. Um, and then I got fries uh, as part of the large combo as well. So a total of $20, which was more than I was expecting. But um, I guess shakes, I thought shakes were expensive, but it's only 180. I guess maybe 180. At, additional to the to like large drink that they base it off of. I'm not sure. It's $14.79 for the combo. $1.80 for the um, banana shake large. And then $2.49 for the chocolate chip brookie. Um, $1.80 for this seems low, so I'm assuming this must be like in addition to whatever the combo uh, includes. So... And then of course a dollar of tax because the government needs to get money for me eating. That's how it works. So I got some napkins in this brookie bag. We're gonna save that for last this time, I think. Got some fries in here that fell out immediately as I opened the thing, so we'll show you show you that, maybe. There's more in there, there was more in there, but um, sorry. There was more in there, but I just dumped them out as soon as I opened the bag, so whatever. We'll try some fries now. Actually, I'll review the shake because I've already been drinking it, so we'll, we'll comment on that. Pretty good thickness. Um, could be a little thicker, but it's pretty good. Um, it's also like pretty watery at the top, so it could be just more consistent the whole way through. But what I've been drinking is um, pretty good. Not so thick that you like really need to um, suck on the straw to get it up, but um, yeah, could be a little bit more runny. I wish I could show you, but it's too much of a hassle um, to not pour it out over the whole car so um definitely is banana in there um there were it's like banana chocolate vanilla of course and then there was a fourth one um strawberry maybe so anyway i went with banana um i feel like the shakes are a little limited um of course everything's limited when you compare it to sonic which this is primarily uh 
like sonic competitor to me except less on the drinks um that's just how i think about it because like directly where i live there isn't like a sonic or checkers so close so this is like a little bit of a drive for me um but yeah good taste to it um just a simple simple shake not too many um options um decent consistency could be a little thicker or just the whole way through the same consistency but it's got a good banana flavor to it i have been to places where they have like <laughs> a banana flavor a strong banana flavor but it's like a um a little bit overripe like <laughs> rotting banana flavor so it's pretty good here so we'll try the fries here actually no we can't try the fries because we have to check the fry seasoning on the chicken tenders and um is it zoomed my camera's okay there we go if, if you thought i was a little bit bigger that's the explanation for that so anyway i can't try the chicken tenders because um or sorry i can't try the fries first because then that will put the fry seasoning already in my mouth and then I won't be able to taste how much it is on the um, chicken tenders itself. So, yeah, done, done with the receipt. We already talked about it. Boy, seven minutes into the video and I haven't even eaten yet. So I turn that light on. Hopefully it wasn't too loud because I'm going to show you the food again. So that's what we're looking like. And um, here I'll pick two up. So. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully it was a good shot for some of that time there. So pretty firm, um, pretty firm. Hopefully it should be chewy enough. Nice breading. Um, let's see here. Yeah, right, let's just take a little bite of this. Um, there's a lot of breading, so doesn't smell like the fries. I I, meet, I smelled the chicken tenders. Doesn't smell like the fry seasoning. So we'll see. Honestly, it's just chicken tenders, and um, I did say dip cups on the receipt. I did not get any dip cups. So, can't try the buffalo dip. I guess maybe you're supposed to ask for it, but it does say it on the receipt. I didn't get billed for it. It doesn't have to say a price next to it, but... So anyway, um, I guess before I leave, I'll probably try um, it with the, the ranch dip cup. I'll, I'll ask for it all. Um, just ask for one, say I didn't go one. Um, but we're gonna try some now without it, no worries. So, uh, mess with like turning the light on every single time so this is pretty soft here a bit more firm here of course let's take a bite out of it um i'll show you this now so you can kind of see there is some meat on there uh that's obviously a worry with these kind of places is just how much meat there is compared to like all the breading so it's definitely a pretty thick breading. Not really fry flavor, you know. It's just a chicken tender.
I'm gonna see what the fries taste like. I mean, I know what they usually taste like, but I'm just trying to try and do a comparison. And the fries do have a kind of, mm, they have a decent seasoning. I wouldn't say it's too unique. Yeah. I don't know if the, the seasoning that they use is just like very weak or they have a very weak blend into the chicken tender or if they just didn't give me any, um, they just gave me normal chicken tenders, but I'm not sure. It says it on the, um, the receipt, fry seasons, so I don't know what happened. Oh. I'll show you. Some of the fries close up. So, you know what they look like though. I think they have a pretty decent flavor tonight. Um, season's all right. Nothing to rave about really. I could see, I could see how you could really like these. Huh, that's one thing I just noticed. This light is so much more brighter than that light. Um, but this light, of course, like, um, really lights up way too much. And this light's a bit, um, cause it's kind of pointed that way. I feel like it's, uh, not as extreme. Sorry, I'm really rambling here. Um, but yeah, uh, the chicken, it's really not seasoned like fry, so I don't know if that's a um, mistake on their part. They gave me the wrong tenders. I was really looking forward to, like, a new flavor or something, you know, a new mix. Um, I guess I could always, uh, I guess I could always take the fries and the chicken tenders in the same bite. But um, I think we'll just um, try some more chicken tenders. So here's what this one's looking like. So as you can see, there is chicken there. It's not like it's just breading. Um, but depending on your standards of what you're kind of used to, it, it definitely is um, feeling like a lot of breading when you're eating. It doesn't feel like so much chicken. I feel like mostly the breading is what I notice when I'm chewing. So I think a bit too much breading for my taste. But depending on what you're used to, it could be fine. So we got a thick one here. Let's take a bite of that. So this is probably the thickest one in the, that they gave me. So decent size. Uh, I was a bit worried they'd be like really tiny because they were like a three a three piece. And I was like really worried about like getting that it's three piece, five piece, eight piece. So I went the eight piece. Okay. So pretty thin layer of breading compared to the meat. Um, thin up here at the top. Um, so pretty decent meat on this one. Mm 
Yeah, the chicken is un unseasoned. You know, the breading, of course, yeah. Um, the chicken's all right, it's just not, um, I don't know if it's, it's nice and warm still. Um, I don't know if I was just expecting more flavor because of the, you know, obviously I ordered fry seasoning. But just the chicken seems, I don't know, not as strong flavor as I was expecting. It tastes like chicken. It doesn't taste like great chicken, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely a letdown on the chicken tenders. Let's try the brookie. So I once again got the brookie, and now is the time that you get to see it. So, from what we learned last time in our expectations, I think it's going to be a bit more like cookie dough than actual cookie. It does say chocolate chip brookie, so we're going to see, it looks like we got like, yeah. Looks a bit kind of yellow to me, so like M&M um, &M chunks or something. But it doesn't say that. And then definitely a light kind of thing to it. So let's give it a try. A great smell again, strong smell. Um, not so strong that I was smelling it before when it was in the bag but definitely a good smell now. Intoxicating, right? <laughs> the smell of brownies, that's, that's really the most accurate thing you can say, intoxicating. So, pretty good. Not as good as I, as I remember last time, but that was probably just because I was like presently surprised by how good the, the brookie was. So let's try and get a lot of the cookie in one bite. Yeah, it still kind of is that, that cookie doughish thing, not really cookie. Not really, you know, cookie. I wonder if that's just easier for them to make or if that's just, I guess, cheaper, really. But I wonder if, if the consistency that they're, they're going for um, can more reliably done with the, the cookie dough type stuff rather than a cookie. Okay, so... I guess we are done. Um, I might go back in the line and um, ask if they can give me a buffalo dip and say I didn't get one. Um, or a ranch dip, because I didn't get anything. And uh, there isn't seasoning already. I don't know if I'll complain about that. They might have just given me the wrong thing. Um, and I've already eaten a few and it's fine. As long as I have like a dip something to to eat it with, that'll be great. Some some extra flavor. Um, otherwise, I'll have to resort to eating the fry and the the chicken dinner at the same time just to give me the flavor I expected. So, if I don't show myself um, eating, dipping the chicken tenders, which I might, I might not. Um, if not. Then I will see you in the next video. Please remember to share the video, subscribe, like, and comment. I reply to every comment. So I will see you in the next one.